Hi everyone, welcome to a new episode of Defense Explained. In this video, we will see some facts about the Russian S-400 missile defense system, how it works and what makes it so deadly. During the Cold War, the Soviet Union realized that it was lagging behind the United States in the tactical fighter jet program, so it began investing heavily in its air defense systems. As a result, Russia now possesses some of the most advanced air defense missile systems in the world the S-400 being one of them. It is unanimously stated to be one of the most capable surface-to-air missile systems in the world. So much so that countries are willing to risk America's CATSA sanctions for it. The S-400 was developed in the 1990s by Russia's Elmar Central Design Bureau as an upgrade of the S-300 series of surface-to-air missile systems and has been in service with the Russian Armed Forces since 2007. It is extremely mobile as all the components are truck mounted and can be deployed almost anywhere in all weather conditions. The system gets ready to engage targets in 5 minutes as compared to 25 minutes required by the Patriot system of the US. Let's take a look at its components and their working in general. The S-400 Triumph Air Defense System integrates a multifunction radar, autonomous detection and targeting systems, launchers, and command and control center. It is capable of firing four different types of missiles to create a layered defense. The system can engage all types of aerial targets, including aircraft, rotorcraft, unmanned aerial vehicles or drones, and ballistic and cruise missiles, within a range of 400 km and an altitude of up to 30 km. The upgraded version of the S-400 system can simultaneously engage 80 targets. The crown jewel of the S-400 system is its long-range surveillance radar, the 91N6C panoramic radar detection system mounted on an 8x8 heavy-duty trailer. It is the upgraded version of the 64 and 6E model radars and can detect and track targets within a range of 600 km. It is claimed that this radar can track up to 300 targets at a time and has got protection against jammers. Another radar in the S-400 missile defense system is the 92N6C model engagement radar. This is a multifunctional radar with a range of around 400 km. There are two more optional radars, the 96L6E radar and the 40V6MR radar. The 96L6C model surveillance and tracking radar is an all-altitude detector and is optionally carried when the S-400 battery is deployed autonomously. The 40V6MR model is meant for detecting targets flying at low altitudes and at a longer distance. The command and control system of the S-400 Triumph is based on a 5.5 K6E military truck. This command post is equipped with LCD consoles to process the airspace surveillance data of individual batteries. It controls and monitors long-range surveillance radar, tracks airborne threats, prioritizes the threats, and coordinates other batteries. The last component in the S-400 system is the launch vehicle containing the 5P8 5TE2 missile launchers. This transporter erector launcher vehicle or the TEL vehicle in short has four launch tubes holding four different types of missiles. The 9M960 missile is a short range missile having a range of about 40 km, followed by a medium range 9M96E2 missile with a range of 120 km. Designed for direct impact, these ground to air missiles can strike fast moving targets such as fighter aircraft with a high hit probability. Apart from these two missiles, the S-400 system uses the long-range 4, 8 and 6 missiles. This missile has a powerful propulsion system and can destroy airborne targets within the range of 250 km. The 40N6 missile of the S-400 has the longest range of 400 km and uses active radar homing to intercept air targets at larger distances. It can be launched against AWACS, GSTARS, support jammers, and other high-value targets. 
Now let's take a look at how these components work in cohesion. The long range surveillance radar keeps tracking objects in the air. If any aerial threat approaches its air defense bubble, it passes on the information to the command post vehicle. The command post then carries out further assessment, whether the flying object is friendly or an enemy. Once the command post identifies the target, it gives the order to the launch vehicle. Based on the order received, one of the four missiles are launched to neutralize the target. Each S-400 battalion consists of two batteries, each of which has a command and control system, a surveillance radar, an engagement radar, and four launch vehicles. One interesting point to note here is that multiple launch vehicles can be placed at different locations. This helps the command post to pass the launch command to the most suitable location. Once the missile is fired, it is guided towards the target by the engagement radar, which itself keeps interacting with the long-range surveillance radar and both work in tandem to set the trajectory of the missile. The speed of these missiles can reach up to 14 Mach making S-400 a formidable air defense system. Russia has so far sold this advanced military hardware to several countries, including Belarus, Algeria, China, Turkey, and recently India. Several other nations like Egypt, Saudi Arabia, and Qatar have also expressed interest in it. I hope you found this video informative. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. See you next time.